If you guys like the content in this video, please leave a like and subscribe to stay in tune with future videos. How's it going today, YouTube? So we're back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a thrill eye effect. The footage I'm going to be using today is a close-up shot on the face. The entire shot doesn't need to be in focus. You only need to have about 3 or 4 frames in focus. Since the frames that are focused are in the beginning of the clip, we're going to be reversing the clip. This may not pertain to you, but if it does, you just want to go to the little read time tool and hit reverse clip. After that, the next thing that you guys are going to want to do is you just want to slow down the clip. You want to go back to the little read time tool and hit slow 25%. Now you guys can see that the footage is a lot slower. Now we have a lot more frames to work with here. Towards the end of the footage, you can see the frames that were in focus that we reversed and put there. What you guys are going to want to do here is cut the clip about a second away from the end. After doing that, we're going to go to the effects search panel and we're going to search for a shape mask. We're going to drag and drop the shape mask onto the little clip that we cut. The light colored circles on the shape mask change the curvature. The green colored circles change the radius. You're going to want to shape the mask around the eye. After getting it about accurate, you just want to invert the mask. Roughly place the shape mask over the eye, so that way we can look for footage to put under the clip. In my case, I already have footage put to the side for the sake of this video. But once you guys get your footage, you just want to put it underneath this clip. So right now, I'm just placing the scene with the eye on top of the other clips. But I'm making sure that it overlaps the other clip, so that way you see it through the eye. Now that the clip's underneath the shape mask, you can see what's really going on. Our shape mask is actually a little bit off here, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we're going to adjust it. The best way to adjust the shape mask on a moving object is to keyframe it. To keyframe it, we're just going to go to the effects panel and we're going to open transforms within the shape mask. We're going to hit the keyframe button on the position, the rotation, and the scale. After hitting the keyframes, you guys could then adjust the shape mask over the eye for every frame. To adjust it, you want to use the position tools over here. To go frame by frame, you just want to hit the left or right button on your keyboard. After fine tuning it, now you guys just want to zoom out and evaluate it. If it needs a little bit of fine tuning, this is the time to adjust it. After fine tuning your shape mask, you're just going to want to make a new compound clip out of the two clips that we've been working on. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be cutting the clip a little bit before the shape mask pops up in the eye. Now you guys just want to click on the little clip that you made and go over to the little crop tool. You just want to make sure that it's on crop. After that what you want to do is hit the Ken Burns button. You're going to want to toggle the red box labeled end and adjust it to the eye. What this does is it automatically scales the clip and gives it a zoom effect. Now wrapping it up, I'm just going to go through a timeline and just clean it up. It's actually not as difficult as the effect as it was to actually explain it to you guys in a video. But we actually got through it and I appreciate you guys for it. Please let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more videos like this one. My niggas were athletes, now we up on the block Trapping my niggas is cash leaves We running from 12, we say by the bell We trapped at a if you guys like the content in this video, please leave a like and subscribe to stay in tune with future videos.